All right. Hey, good morning. Um, so this is the start of day two. I will say that after I got off this recording yesterday, I eliminated about five more times. So, wow, this um, herbal amino package is definitely the truth. Definitely very strong. Um, I would say if you're on this, make sure you don't have to leave the house. Today, I'm actually able to stay home um, for a few hours. So hopefully, once I do leave the house, um, I won't be in trouble. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, like I'm kind of, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm definitely super excited about this still though because this is working. Working, working, working. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my morning regimen. I'm gonna be taking these tonics, putting some warm water in there so that the alcohol can evaporate a little bit, take my capsules. And then 30 minutes later, I'll go ahead and take my first meal of the day. Um, today I'm feeling some grapes. I might do some papaya. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's a good day. I will see you later. Oh yeah, so um, what I also wanted to share with you guys was yesterday when I was eliminating, it's not like you just get the urge, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. It's like, me personally my stomach actually was in pain like pain 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 where i'm like hunched over going to the bathroom so i don't know why um i would say you know if you are in public if you do have a normal like nine to five job yeah it might be kind of difficult you may have to just get a desk or right next to the to the uh restroom if you can because it's like, uh, it could be difficult if you're in public, is all I'm going to say. Um, but this works, okay? Literally, that was just day one. Today's day two, and I'm already seeing results. So this stuff works, guys, okay? Just getting my capsules out, getting ready to take. Oh, yeah, and I did start the day with um, 16 ounces of spring water. Or distilled water is also recommended. Um, taking a hot and cold shower, that definitely gets the lymph moving around in your body. Um, about a quarter of the fluid in your body is blood, and then three quarters of the fluid in your body is lymph, is your lymphatic system. So um, you definitely wanna start to get that moving. Also dry brushing, maybe one day I will um, bring it so I can show you guys what my, brush, my, what my dry brush is and you literally just um, do it within the steps. That is recommended. Brush your whole body. Um, and then you also wanna go on walks if you can. If it's cold where you are, I know it's October, where I am right now, I mean, where everyone is right now, but where I am right now, October is kinda chilly. So if you have like a treadmill in the house or something like that, or a sauna, you can definitely get in that, kind of warm up your body to start to get the fluids moving, just so you can further along the process of your cleansing. Um, but catch you later hello hello so i have some grapes here and i'm feeling okay you know i think i can finish this uh this bowl without feeling sick so i definitely hope that's the case at least but i'll definitely keep you updated i'm really just trying to keep everything down today don't want to throw up don't want to have you know explosive times in the restroom <laughs> So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated, but so far I'm feeling okay. All right, y'all, so it is afternoon time. Um, they gave me some, I'll show you, some black seed oil. Some black seed oil. Um, and it says take two tablespoons twice daily. Um, I did not notice the instructions when I took it earlier. I just took one teaspoon. So here's like a tablespoon. So I'm, I'm about to take two of these. I am also taking my afternoon capsules, which are the GI Super Mover. And then I'm also taking um, the tonics in the shot glass the same way. 
normal and drinking it with some water. Um, in the meantime, what I was doing was relaxing because I did not want to have too crazy of some, you know, the bowel movements today. I just wanted to kind of settle my stomach. Um, and I watched a documentary on Netflix called The Game Changers. And I definitely recommend it if you would like to learn more about being vegan in general. It is actually about athletes who are, you know, football players. They had the UFC fighters, um, track runners, track stars, and just kind of like showing you guys their journey. Even um, bodybuilders too, who are vegan. And it was really cool to see how big they are with only a plant diet. Um, so yeah, if you have some time, definitely watch The Game Changers on Netflix if you have a Netflix subscription. Um, and if you don't, steal someone's password, you know? <laughs> um, all right, so let me take my black seed oil. I'm actually about to leave the house, so I hope I'll be okay on the road. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Mm. Okay, that was one tablespoon. I don't even know what that tastes like. Like, I... I don't know why I thought black seed oil. I thought black seed, maybe like pepper or something, but no. I don't know what this is and I don't really know what it's for. Like, I don't know if you can cook with it. I don't know if you can use it as like a um, lotion, maybe like, you know, body oil. I'm not sure. I need to do some research on what else you can do with black seed oil, but here I'm just consuming it. It says, you know, organic alkaline herbs. So I guess it's really good for the body. But I wonder what else you could do with it. Or maybe hair. Actually, I think I know people who put black seed oil in their hair too. So maybe I'll do that and on the scalp. Hmm. Whew. But that is just very interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. All right, let me take my capsules. Okay. Okay, only three in the afternoon. Whew, all right, and then now this. Let me start up because I feel like it could settle a little bit. All right. And you definitely see some floaties in here, which is basically just the herbs. So that's actually pretty cool. All right. So <clears throat> I am going to leave the house. I'm going to take some more grapes with me. Oh, that's what I had earlier. I don't know if I mentioned that I had some grapes for lunch and or i guess like after breakfast and it was really good love me some grapes so i'm gonna take some more on the road with me and if i have to use it i'm gonna just go somewhere <laughs> and handle my business but uh we'll see um and i'll see y'all later oh yeah real quick so i had one bowel movement today only I think it's because since I threw up everything I ate yesterday, I think there was just nothing left in my stomach and my body. But over time, you know, I will start to have more, um, probably tonight, especially since I'm eating some grapes today. So, and I have not thrown up today, so I'm able to hold it down. So I'm sure that's what will come out tonight. Um, but yeah, see you later. Hey y'all, so I am home and just showing you guys what I'm eating right now. This is fresh papaya. This melon, it's so good, so sweet, so juicy. This is a tropical fruit. So yeah, this is my papaya that I'm eating. I also had more grapes today, but this might be my last meal. I might get hungry a little bit later, but I love me some fruit. Love it, love it, love it. All right, see you later. Hello, good evening. All right, so I am finishing out my evening with the bitter one, two, and three tea. That was provided. Um, you take a cup of this, boil it for a couple of minutes, and then have it simmer for 25 minutes. Strain it into glass jars to consume. 
you will actually put the used tea in the fridge and you can reuse it up to three times. So that's pretty cool. So this lasts a really long time. Um, I'm also finishing out the night, taking my nightly tonics and my capsules, which you can't see. Okay, capsules. Um, so I will come back on here and let you know how this tea tastes. <laughs> All right, so I'm only halfway done with this first um, tea, the bitter one. It does not taste bad at all, but it is warm and it's like it's warming up my whole entire body. And my stomach is just feeling kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. And I'm just trying to like not move just so that I don't throw up or something because I really, want this to stay down it's just really like uh i can't even explain it but it's warming up every single cell i literally feel it and i feel like if i move quickly i'll end up throwing up or something so good thing it does not have a bad taste like i don't mind the taste but as you see it's like really just thick you know it's really thick and it's gonna take some time to get down i'll be back <clears throat> all right so um i finished bitter one but i'm sweating just kind of don't want to move just like hot like burning up um I would like to finish all of these tonight. I'm not sure if that'll happen. I'm just like hot, like. I'm also not a tea drinker, so maybe that's what it is. Like I'm just not used to drinking tea, so maybe this is a normal effect of tea. But I also think this tea is very strong. And you guys can see like, it's very strong can't see through this at all um so i'll give it a few minutes and see if there's any more room in my stomach too i feel kind of full um i'll see all right so bitter two definitely tastes bad bitter one barely any taste bitter too who I don't know I may have to try again tomorrow because this is rough yeah this is rough who this is definitely you know mind strengthening anyone who got through this before i praise you oh man this is rough this is rough well unfortunately i am going to try again tomorrow to finish bitter one two and three i did i finished bitter one bitter two and bitter three no i'm gonna go lay down I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Hmm. Day two, tough. <laughs> Good night, y'all.